this video will help you find the dividends paid for the cash flow statement. Let's consider that you have this information, that this information is given to you. Dividends payable, you have a balance, here's your beginning balance, and the um, year two balance. So remember the year one balance at the end of year one becomes your beginning balance at the end of, I mean, at the beginning of year two. And then this is your balance at the end of year two. And you'll see if you subtract these two, that there's a 7,560 increase in dividends payable. And you get this from the balance sheet. So that information is there. On some cash flow problems, you will be given the amount of dividends declared. I'll show you in a minute how to calculate that if that amount is not given. But for now, let's assume that it's given. So what we're going to do is we have to figure out how many dividends were paid based on these numbers. So first of all, let's fill in the T account. The beginning balance of dividends payable goes here. Remember, dividends payable is a liability, the credit balance. So that's 25200 the ending balance of dividends payable is 32,760. So we're given that in the balance sheet. Also, we know that dividends were declared of 131,40. When dividends are declared, we debit cash dividends and we credit dividends payable. So there's a credit here of 131,040. Now you know that the ending balance of a T account means that your credits would be added together. And you see here that your credits, the two credits added up are a whole lot more than this 32,760. That means that some dividends were paid. So I'm gonna make this yellow because we're gonna calculate or solve for X, we're gonna figure out how many dividends were actually paid. And so the way we do that is we're gonna add up our credits, subtract out the ending balance, what's left to figure out what was paid. So I'll just cr create a formula here, equals this plus this minus our ending balance to come up with what was paid, which is 123,480. Since this is amount paid for dividends, that will go in the financing section of the cash flow statement, and it will be a cash outflow of 123,480. Remember that dividends payable is a current liability, but it will not be in the it will will not be presented in the operating section of the cash flow statement. It is presented in the financing section because financing has to do with debt and equity and dividends are paid out to our owners. So that has to do with equity. Now let's just say for a minute that dividends declared was not given to you. How would you calculate that? Well, you would use retained earnings. And so we're gonna look at retained earnings for just a minute. Let's say that beginning retained earnings is 2,118,660. So you have beginning retained earnings you have ending retained earnings, and you know that retained earnings is increased by net income. Retained earnings is decreased by the amount of dividends declared. So you would figure this out in the same way you would solve for X. You would say the beginning balance plus the credit minus what's left in the account would give you this number 131,040, which happens to be the number they gave us, which is the amount of dividends declared. But remember for the cash flow statement, what we're trying to figure out is not necessarily how many dividends were declared, but how many dividends were actually paid. That's why we need this T account for dividends payable.